Introducing the all new Corolla. The legislature held an oversight hearing on the Department of Agriculture to find out the status of their crop damage compensation program. Local farmers have been filing claims to help them recover from losses sustained during rainstorms in October of 2013. During the hearing, farmers said they felt like they were being given a hard time about their claims. First, they were required to bring in receipts for all money spent, and now they say that even with those receipts, they aren't being fully reimbursed. Farmers complain that they're not being reimbursed for any labor costs. It's just the seed money that we are providing for the farmers to help them to start with on their feet. We're not going to compensate them for, you know, the, perhaps the, uh, what they're expecting to harvest, to make when they harvest the field. So it's all right for me to go and apply for food stamp? Is that, your, is that what you're saying, man? Is it all right for me to go and apply for food stamp because you didn't give me enough money? You gave me money for seed, but no money for per not enough money for fertilizer, no money to pay for the water bill, no money to pay for my power bill that I, I have to keep my corn. You didn't give me those. Uh, you know, like I might so it's not fair. I want an answer now. Are you going to pay me the rest of it according to the law, the maximum of $20,000? So then I'll shut my mouth. Senator Roy Respicio asked DOA Director Tita Taitagui to explain how they are determining how much money farmers should be receiving. Farmers are saying that they have receipts that total more than the $20,000 maximum, but they're not even receiving the maximum. And you keep saying that you don't have money. There was money, but it was turned down because maybe they were told that they, they have enough. Like I say, you know, uh, we're stewards of the government funds and uh, we try to uh, be conservative and help everybody so that's how I but you're being conservative on the backs of the farmers mm -hmm. and you're not paying pursuant to law and, and and you know like I say farmers we should be business minded people also so uh, when the rainy day comes we have something already in store to help us to go to you know to lie but That's isn't the I, Department of Agriculture there yeah. to advocate for the farmers? Yes. We, like I said, we try to help every yeah. farmer that came into the office. We didn't turn anyone down. We try to help them to, uh, you know, to at least to start with their farming activities right after the, uh, uh, after the storm. And uh, I feel that maybe, you know, uh, we have to help them. So uh, anybody that, you know, doesn't agree with what we gave them, uh, It'd be nice to come over to that department and we'll show you the formula or how we, the process that we went to in providing them the funding. Farmers say they're upset because when they were told to bring in all of their receipts, they did, but not all of their receipts were accepted. Taitagui said legal counsel advised her that she couldn't pay for labor costs, and as far as fuel receipts are concerned, she said that some farmers weren't providing receipts from the fuel companies, but rather making up their own receipts. However, Taitagui did admit that they are having difficulty with the availability of cash for the program. And Senator Respicio pointed out that the legislature identified other funding sources for the Farmers' Compensation Plan, but the governor, line item, vetoed their funding sources. I know that she wants to pay us. She really does want to pay us. She don't want to shortchange us. She actually, she, she wanted to pay us the maximum, but the front office stopped her. Tadigui did not refute or disagree with the statement. Instead, this was her response. Yeah, and like I say, you know, we try to accommodate all the farmers, you know. We try to accommodate all of them, you know, to help them out. We're not short changes, changing uh, one farmer. But we, like I say, uh, even the front office, you know, are, are willing to help farmers.